So hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Mora Tech. I am Varun Maria and in today's video we are going to talk about the fascinating topics of the tech world that is the penetration testing and the ethical hacking. So stay in this video till end to learn all about the penetration testing and the ethical hacking. Also in this video I am going to tell you about some tips and tricks to make you safeguard from the cyber attacks and cyber frauds. So let's start our video. First of all let's clear up any misconceptions about hacking. Ethical hacking is a legal and authorized practice where professionals known as ethical hackers or white hat hackers legally test systems, networks and applications for vulnerabilities. Their goal is to identify weakness before malicious hackers can exploit them. Now penetration testing often referred to a pen testing is an essential component of ethical hacking. It involves simulating real-world attacks to assess the security level of a system. Pen testers use a variety of tools and methodologies to evaluate the system defenses and recommended improvements. Let's walk through the ethical hacking processes step by step. First, the ethical hackers gather information about the target, known as reconnaissance. This helps them understand potential weakness point they may use both passive and active methods. Next, we have the scanning phase. During this stage, the ethical hackers actively look for vulnerabilities in the system, such as open ports, weak passwords, or outdated softwares. Now, one of the most critical phase, that is exploitation. Ethical hackers use their skills to exploit identified vulnerabilities, gaining access to the system, it's essential to remember that they do this with applicate permission from the system owner. After gaining access, the ethical hackers assesses the extent of the compromise and documents their findings. This information is used to strengthen the system defense and prevent future attacks. You might be wondering why ethical hacking is so crucial in today's digital landscape. Well, by proactively finding and fixing vulnerabilities, we can prevent serious data breaches, safeguard personal information, and protect businesses from financial losses. So, if you are interested and want to get involved in ethical hacking, here are some steps you can take to start your journey. So, first of all, you have to learn the basics of networking and computer systems. After this, you have to familiarize yourself with common programming languages like Python, C, or Java. After this, you have to study cybersecurity concepts and stay updated with the latest security trends. Now at last, seek certifications like Certified Ethical Hackers, CEH or Offensive Security Certified Professional that is OSCP. Let me share some real-world incidents or examples of penetration testing and ethical hacking. The first one is Heartbleed Bug. In 2014, the Heartbleed Bug was a serious vulnerability in the OpenSSL cryptographic software library. It allowed hackers to access sensitive data from the memory of systems protected by affected version of OpenSSL. The bug was discovered by security researchers and highlighted the importance of regular security audits and penetration testings to identify and fix crucial vulnerabilities. Second is Sony PlayStation Network Hack. 2011. In 2011, the Sony PlayStation Network suffered a massive data breach, resulting in the exposure of personal information, including names, addresses, and credit card data of over 77 million users. Ethical hackers investigated the breach and found that Sony has several security weaknesses, which could have been discovered and mitigated through proper penetration testing and vulnerability assessments. Now on number 3rd, we have Jeep Karaoke Remote Hacking 2015. Ethical hackers Charlie Miller and Chris Waleski demonstrated a frightened vulnerability in the Jeep Karaoke Uconnect infotainment system. They remotely took control of a Jeep steering, brakes and other critical systems while it was driving on the highway. The demonstration raised awareness about the security risk associated with connected vehicles and pushed automobile manufacturers 
to take cyber security more seriously. Now on number 4th, we have Equifax Data Breach 2017. Equifax, one of the major credit report agency, experienced a data breach that exposed the sensitive information of approximately 147 million people. The breach was caused by a known vulnerability in Apache Struts, a web application framework. Ethical hackers and security researchers later discovered that Equifax has failed to pass the vulnerability despite it being well known and widely reported. Now on number 5th, we have Stuxnet Worm 2010. Stuxnet was a sophisticated computer worm designed to target industrial control systems, specifically Iran nuclear program. It was likely to join efforts by various nation states. The bomb demonstrates the potential for cyber attacks to disrupt critical infrastructures. While its origin and purpose were not entirely clear at the time, Stuxnet brought the importance of cyber security in industrial control system to the forefront. This real-world incident illustrates the significance of penetration testing and ethical hacking in identifying vulnerabilities, security critical systems, and raising awareness about the importance of cybersecurity in our interconnected world. Ethical hackers play a vital role in preventing and mitigating cyber threats and protecting both individuals and organizations from potential harm. So as always, it's time to learn about some amazing facts about the topic. Penetration testing and ethical hacking are fascinating fields that play a crucial role in ensuring the security of a computer system and network. So here are some amazing facts about them. First one is ancient roots. The concept of ethical hacking can be traced back to the 1960s when the US government employed red teams to simulate attacks on military systems to assess their vulnerabilities. On second number, we have authorized intrusion. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, have explicit permission to test and exploit the security of a system with the goal of identifying and fixing vulnerabilities. On third number, we have hacker ethos. The term hacker initially referred to the individual who were skilled programmer and used their expertise to explore and understand computer systems. Ethical hackers carried forward this ethos of exploring systems to improve security. On number fourth, we have bug bounties. Many organizations work bug bounty program where ethical hackers are rewarded for responsibly reporting vulnerabilities. The payout can charge from hundreds to thousands of dollars, with some bounties reaches six figures. On fifth number, we have high demand. With the increasing reliance on technology and cyber threat become more sophisticated, the demand for skilled penetration testers and ethical hackers is higher than ever. On sixth number, we have certifications. Several reputable certification validate the expertise of ethical hackers, such as Certified Ethical Hackers, that is CEH, Offensive Security Certified Professional, that is OSCP, and Certified Penetration Tester, that is CPT. On number seventh, we have legal protection. Ethical hackers work, work with a strict legal framework, ensuring that they do not cross any boundaries or cause harm while conducting their assessments. On eighth number, we have real-world simulation. Penetration tests often involve replicating real-world attacks, scenarios to uncover vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious hackers. Now on number ninth, we have black box versus white box. Penetration testers can choose between two main approaches, black box, that is no prior knowledge of the system, and the white box, full knowledge of the system. Each approach has its own advantage and limitations. Now on number 10, we have hacker conferences. There are numerous global hacker conferences such as DEFCON and Black Hat, where ethical hackers, security researchers and professional gathers to share knowledge and showcase cutting edge research. That brings us to the end of our exploration into ethical hacking and penetration testing. Remember, ethical hacking is about using your skills for good and making the digital world safer for everyone. If you found this video informative or helpful, give up a 
thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting contents like this. Stay safe and stay curious until next time. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or suggestion for future videos, leave them in the comment below. We will see you in the next one.